reading from the book of Revelation. War broke out in heaven. Michael and his angels battled against the dragon. The dragon and its angels fought back, but they did not prevail, and there was no longer any place for them in heaven. The huge dragon, the ancient serpent, who was called the devil and Satan, who deceived the whole world, was thrown down to earth, and its angels were thrown down with it. Then I heard a loud voice in heaven say, Now have salvation and power come, and the kingdom of our God and the authority of his anointed. For the accuser of our brothers is cast out, who accuses them before our God day and night. They conquered him by the blood of the Lamb and by the word of their testimony. Love for life did not deter them from death. Therefore, rejoice, you heavens, and you who dwell in them. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. In the sight of the angels, I will sing your praises, Lord. In the sight of the angels, I will sing your praises, Lord. I will give thanks to you, O Lord, with all my heart. For you have heard the words of my mouth. In the presence of the angels, I will sing your praise. I will worship at your holy temple and give thanks to your name. In the, In the sight, sight of the angels, I will sing your praises, Lord. Because of your kindness and your truth, you have made great above all things your name and your promise. When I called, you answered me. You built up strength within me. In the, In the sight, sight of the angels, I will, I will sing your praises, praises, Lord. All the kings of the earth shall give thanks to you, O Lord, when they hear the words of your mouth. And they shall sing of the ways of the Lord. Great is the glory of the Lord. In the, In the sight, sight of the angels, angels, I will sing your praises, praises, Lord. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Gospel according to St. John. Jesus saw Nathanael coming toward him and said of him, Here is a true child of Israel. There's no duplicity in him. Nathanael said to him, How do you know me? Jesus answered and said to him, Before Philip called you, I saw you under the fig tree. Nathanael answered him, Rabbi, you're the Son of God, you're the King of Israel. Jesus answered and said to him, Do you believe because I told you that I saw you under the fig tree? You will see greater things than this. And he said to him, Amen, amen, I say to you, you will see heaven open, and the angels of God ascending and descending on the Son of Man. The Gospel of the Lord. In the Office of Readings today, in the second reading, the homily from Pope Gregory the Great talks about the fact that you're only an angel when you're actually engaged in a specific mission. There are always these, these, these creatures, are what, they're always spirits, but they're only angels when they're on, on task, so to speak, bringing the message, okay, which is what the word angel means, to bring the message, to be a messenger. And so the three that we celebrate today have important messages that they bring. They bring messages of healing and of proclamation and good news and of defense, spiritual defense. These are messages that every single one of us needs on an ongoing basis. We need to know the healing touch of God. We need to know the defense of God. We need to know the good news that comes from God for us. And so it's important for us as we honor Michael, Gabriel, and Raphael, it's important for us to recognize also the angelic touches that can be found in our own lives. It's, Im it's important, I think, to remember that the letter to the Hebrews says, never fail to show hospitality. 
because by hospitality, some have entertained angels unaware. And that obviously refers to Abraham and the three visitors that come, but in a different kind of a way, a flip kind of a way, it also refers to Lot in Sodom, who also showed hospitality and became defended as a result of that. How many times have we had the opportunity to be angelic to others, to be messengers of God's goodness or healing or defense for others? How many people have been angelic for us? This is important for us to reflect on, I think, and as we continue this Eucharist, to give thanks to God for those who have touched us in those ways and to ask him for us to be open to touch others in those same ways. Let us stand and pray.